So one question I get um, at least occasionally is about the relationship between posture and wearing backpacks. I will tell you that the other day my friend was on crutches so I had to, I had to wear her purse, which it wasn't even a big heavy purse, but having something pulling down on you is always gonna have a negative impact towards posture. It might just be a little bit, but if it's really heavy, it might be a lot. But one of the things that people don't think about as much is the, the forward to back thing. So when you look at the spine from the side, um, our spine has curves and because of gravity and because of the things that happen in our life, um, it tends to collapse over time. And we've all seen that, that people come down over time. But as they come down, because of the way our spine is shaped throughout here, they tend to also drop forward. When you wear a backpack, some people think that this might have a good influence because it's pulling the shoulders back. But actually what happens is as it pulls the shoulders back, your body is almost always gonna engage these front chest muscles to pull it, to reactively pull it forward. So what you're actually doing is um, causing these muscles to, to stay switched on, um, which is not something that you want. Most people are already tight through here and these muscles are um, called inhibited, means that they're sort of shut off. Um, and the other thing that happens is when you wear a backpack, on your back, you shift your gravity, or your, center, your center of gravity slightly backwards. And in order to compensate for that, your body has to bend forward. So most people, as their posture starts to collapse, what happens is throughout this whole part of the body, it comes forward and it, and it coalesces here in the front. Those are the two things that wearing a, a backpack on your back does. And so that's a, a net negative influence. It's not that it's pulling your shoulders back. That's, that's an illusion that it's actually coming forward. One little remedy that you can try is um, to wear the backpack in the front. I always do this on airplanes anyways because you're, that's probably the only time I really wear backpacks and there's people in the way and you don't have to worry about someone looking through your bag. Um, when you wear a backpack in the back, you do a couple things. One is that you, since it's pulling, it would pull the shoulders back, you're gonna have to engage your posterior back muscles. Um, and just even engaging them slightly, just enough to switch them on, is gonna have a net positive influence on your posture. The other thing that happens is since the backpack is in front of you, it's gonna shift your center of gravity a little bit and you have to lean back, where essentially most people leaning back is actually going to bring them upright in order for them to stay up. Um, and at the very least, if you can at least, I know it's not always convenient to wear a backpack in your front, but if you can try alternating it, that's going to have a better influence than just always wearing a backpack on your back. Um, things like, we tend to think that, you know, something that's going to pull you back is going to, like we're made of plastic and it's just going to stick you back, but backpacks those posture braces, all those things, what they do eventually is they're going to um, allow certain areas to weaken. So if you're going to have that influence of something pulling you, you actually want something to pull you forward. So you have to reactively pull backwards against that, lean back. Um, better, a, a backpack's better than a purse. Um, it's better to, to have nothing, but that's not always ideal. Um, so if you're going to do it, uh, at least do it that way. Try it. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll talk to you in the comments.